Hello and welcome to another AnyNote video tutorial. We invite you to sit back, relax and watch as we share with you how our AnyNote Software Session Border Controller or SBC is installed on a Linux server and configured through the web interface. AnyNote was developed with a focus on interoperability. Along with being supported on the Windows operating system, AnyNote is also supported on Linux as another primary runtime environment. T-Systems provides its own repository server as a deployment tool, which you can access from http linux.te-systems.de. From this repository server, you can install any node very easily on Debian 7, Debian 8, Ubuntu 14.04, Ubuntu 16.04 or Raspbian. For the installation, let us assume that you have already installed a version of Linux that T-Systems has tested with any node on a physical or virtual system. You can set up the installation either on the local system console or via the network using SSH. In this example, the setup is shown on a system in which there is an already installed copy of Debian 8 performed through the network. First, we establish the connection to the Linux server. From the T-Systems repository server, we are able to perform the relevant commands using copy and paste. We copy our shell script from our website onto the Linux computer. Note that all other steps need route privileges. If your user is a registered user in the sudo group, you can simply activate a route console by sudo s. After entering your password, the console is ready. Alternatively, you can use su in which case you need to enter the route user's password. Now we look at the configuration of our network interfaces. Using ifconfig, we can see the available interfaces and how they are configured. Since any node is a network demarcation point within your VoIP infrastructure, there are likely at least two network interfaces, an internal and an external. In this example, we want the internal interface to access the web interface for configuration purposes. In our example here, this is the interface named ETH0. We now execute the just downloaded script and enter the internal network interface as a value. Thus, the web interface is automatically configured on it. This process may take up to a few minutes. During the course of the script, all AnyNode components and their associated packages are downloaded and installed. After completing the installation, Shell Script will display the IP address of the web frontend. Now we can connect via a browser with the AnyNode configuration and make our initial setup. Now the installation is complete already. When we want to do an update to keep any node up to speed with likely changing environment, we only need to run these commands, which are also used for system updates. After running these commands, any node is up to date, thanks to the repository server. To uninstall any node, these following commands are used. Once this is done, everything any node related should be removed, including the config files and packages that were installed as dependencies. We have now reached the end. Thank you for your attention.